sperm whale stands in Mayo, February 2014. Alerted by a photograph in the Mayo News on Tuesday the 11th of February, I drove to Ballycroy and from a local man learned the whale's location and walked back the shore to the stranded sperm whale. A rising tide lapped the whale's flanks and this did not deter some young Mayo women from wading out to the whale. Snow, sleets, showers from the northwest blasted the rocky shore and made it difficult to take photographs. On the 6th of February, I received a text from Ackle Coast Guard that another big whale was close to shore, north of Ackle Island, swimming in circles. A one metre gash was evident at the whale's dorsal fin, which may have accounted for the whale seen swimming in circles when alive. They use echolocation clicks to locate squid, their main prey. 63 sperm whales were killed from 1908 to 1922 in Mayo by the two Norwegian whaling stations based on the Mullet Peninsula. They are the deepest diving mammal, diving to three kilometres and can live for more than 60 years. The next morning I returned at low tide. We measured the whale with a tape at 50 feet 6 inches, just over 15 metres. Sperm whales are mature at 16 metres. 52 feet. A walk around the whale revealed half the jaw had been cleanly sawn off. An attempt to saw off the full jaw had failed. Sperm whales breed from December to August. Sperm whales are mostly seen off the edge of the continental shelf and have been photographed by the Irish Air Corps fishery surveillance patrols. The tail was 13 feet in width. The week prior to this whale stranding in Mayo, over 10 fishing vessels were fishing 50 miles west of Ackle for blue whiting and could have struck this whale.